to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. Everything in your heart, for We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do. To lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave. Leave your legacy. And it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So that team that think they're ready to see you, they think what they see you feel, they saw what feels so. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now! That I was five minutes ago. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you are capable of being mediocre. Ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. So let's do what we do tonight. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. you got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want it. You gotta go days without, listen to me. You gotta wanna be successful so bad that you forget the to eat. The we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. Now I can't do it for you. This kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day. It was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world? And you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. 
It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point your fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. jokes. I'm here to pick a fight. I'm here to pick a fight with second place. I have about as much patience for second place as I do for flies in my soup. But maybe you like flies in your soup. Maybe you like second place. Maybe you like that you gave it your best better luck next time, malarkey. They spoon feed runner-ups. Let me put it another way. If you think second place ain't such a bad deal, why don't you ask Napoleon how he felt about coming in second at Waterloo? Not so good. Not so good. And you can spare me, it's not whether you win or lose or how you play the game bullshit. I guarantee you whoever said that lost the game. Moral of the story, come in first. Still want to hear a joke? Fine. Here's one for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? The guy that finished second. The guy that finished second who? Exactly. I will not let win about him being caught. I will define myself. I will write my own praises. And I will tell me what I can end up in. with an alligator. I done tussle with a whale. I done handcuff lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Man, dude. Bad. Fast. Fast. Fast! Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast! Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I'm gonna show you how great I am.